gang. We need the mic. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we finally got to the gym. Two hours later, it's now two thirty. Yeah. Dude. We just pulled up to Flex Fitness or Flex Gym in Woodland Hills because uh, the whole plan for lifting with people got uh, got messed up. So me and TB are gonna rip an absolute awesome arm day, and uh, I want my arms to fall off. Yeah. For I want real. a pump so disgusting that it's like it hurts, oh, it bro. Hurts. It literally hurts. I want that As you can see, uh, a little bit outside, it's like darker. It's 6.45 right now. We are on the way to go lift with Germ, and uh, I'm not gonna vlog the whole thing. Young probably buck. get a couple of uh, couple clips, but. Done, you know. Well, we'll have some fun. Today's gonna be a fun one. Uh, uh, the town we live in has nothing to do, so we can't yeah. just chill. We'll go on walks, get some cardio. Max, for real, dude. It's Talk literally every life. night, dude. Yeah. yeah, for real. One thing that I would advise you to do, especially with your boys, if you live close, go for walks at night, bro, I swear one two miles just talk like talk about we talk about like life business plans like what we want to do in the future what mental health is a good one to talk about yeah facts dude if and you're a dude females bro you can talk especially about uh girls. with what he said with the mental health bro take care of your mental bro make sure that you are talking about what's going on with you and make sure that you are okay you have to look out for number one and that is yourself before you can help other people check up on your boys too bro like if Sometimes your friends are too afraid to say that like something might be bothering them because they're trying to be like stoic and shit They're it's trying to facts. be masculine, but you know that shit gets to everyone So you got to make sure you uh, you got that in check and let your boys make sure your boys are in check Make sure you're good and it's then from facts. there you guys could prosper together, you know We are outside of the gym right now. It's called the uh, Ultraflex fitness and it's in Pasadena. Yeah, Ultraflex Fitness in Pasadena. But uh, I want to take the opportunity because we have like a few minutes of waiting to talk about prep because we oh, are, I, I am uh, seven weeks, six weeks out. No, it's like five Bro, now. To be honest, it, it's looking like we're going to end up competing July 15th or 17th, something around there. July 15th, 17th uh, show dates. Heard it here first, folks. Yeah. Um, that's actually the first time I've heard my show date as that well. That was me just telling you. Like, yeah, that's, that was. <laughs> that's like literally now you yeah, know when you're I, Yeah, July 15th. Uh, I'm going to make that day into a meet and greet for the fans. I'd love to I'd love to actually get to meet and see you guys and like actually interact with you guys. And I love it. Um, I, I would love it. I would, I would really love to meet you guys and uh, see my supporters, my fans. But um, long story short, prep has been the most wonderful experience I've ever had. I love being on prep. Dude. But uh, also one Beautiful. of the most mentally challenging. Um, I think that it's uh, kind of a beautiful thing to put myself through something like this to see what I'm really capable of and uh, how strong my mentality really is. And I mean, how do you think I'm doing, coach? Dude, you're doing, you're doing good, dude. To be honest, I knew you could do it, but I knew, I thought you'd struggle a little bit more because a lot of people, their first prep, it's it's tough. For me, my first prep, I was such an angry person because I've done it three times. I was so upset all the time. I was always in a bad mood. I'm, I'm hungry. And then as you do them more and get a little older and more experienced, you could become more like stoic with it. You could be more like, all right, I'm, I'm dealing with these problems right now, but there comes an end, there comes a result, there comes a reward. Yeah, I, gotta stick it I definitely had that experience. I think prep was um, a little easier for me because I've always been kind of goal oriented, like goal driven. You're so good at not eating. Like you, you, you don't have a huge appetite really. No, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily- I'm a fat the, fuck. <laughs> like, genetically. Like, it's, it's not necessarily that my appetite isn't like crazy. It's just like when I know I don't have to eat something or at least I can't eat something, I'll just be like, oh, that's not food. Like I just, that like doesn't become an option to me. So it's like, yeah. I'll crave it knowing it's not an option, which is so <laughs> stupid. Like I'll be like, dude, fuck some ice cream right now. Holy shit. But. <laughs> bro <laughs> like i was saying i was like i'm very goal oriented so like once i have my my mindset on something and something that helped me a lot during prep was cheat meals and knowing that cheat meals were coming because i had to do that uh, i had to do that as a coach i a lot of people will think a cheat meal is gonna like destroy their physique bro it's not it's just, you're just gonna get a little bit of a better pump the, the next day and you're gonna feel more full more ready to go and mentally it really helps and you got to think you're in a deficit 500 600 cows every single day one day of fucking up that deficit it's not gonna kill you yeah i mean 
mean, that's how prep has been going. I think that uh, it was really cool. It was like, it's such a, uh, such a cool experience for me now that I'm like near it, not even nearing the end, but I'm nearing the part where it's like down to the wire, starting to get difficult, really hard. But um, yeah, I think I'm ready for it. I'm, uh, this has been a culmination of all the decisions I made up to this point. And I think that this is gonna be the most challenging, but one of the most satisfying experiences uh, as far as prep goes. But yeah, I mean, I mean, thanks let to Tommy me, let me for say coaching me, bro. Quick. Prep toward the end gets so difficult, but the rewards get so much better. You're so much hungrier toward the end, but you're getting so much leaner. You're you're learning so much about your body. It's like a game. It, it gets so fun, man. And uh, I'm excited for Tommy to go through this portion of prep because it's crazy. Yeah, literally, dude, I learned so much about myself through this prep, like what diff like different foods and what affects me. And like, uh, if I have too much of X, it'll, it'll affect me in Y way. Or if I eat A, then B and C will be off for like four or five days. And I need to drink more water to do that. It's like, I, I learned- worried about that. Yeah, Sodium, it's, it's the first time water. tracking or like tracking my micros as well as my like macros. Cause I try to stay, even now, um, I know for a fact that if I pass like 2,500 or 3,000 milligrams of salt a day, I look like shit the Yours next day like when 3K. I wake up. Mine's yeah. like 2.5. My, you also learn your bodies, certain bodies are more sensitive, but this prep right. has been the easiest for me because it's the first time I'm going through a prep with someone. Right. And I think that's right. cool. I think that as like my first time going through prep, I'm really grateful that I have Tommy because not only is he my coach, but like, it's like a, it's a support system. It's like, yo, if I have like cravings, I'll call him up and be like, yo, you know, it sounds so fucking fire right now. Like, about it for so yeah, and long. we'll talk about like just different <laughs> cravings and shit, bro. I literally have a list in my phone of like all the different shit that I've craved. And that one cheat meal we had where we had acai bowls, I, I literally wrote that down and I was like, yo, we're getting acai bowls after this workout, bro. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little update on prep, um, but we're gonna get into working out. And uh, I think shit. I'm gonna see you guys after. So we just got back from the gym. It's like midnight right now. We're gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna answer some of my frequently asked questions and uh, probably just talk, honestly. We'll see where the video takes us, but the lift with germ was absolutely awesome. That was a 10 out of 10. We got some good posing clips. I'm sure you guys will see them on TikTok here. Uh, Jerm's really cool, solid dude. Yeah, it was cool that he like took actual interest in us as people. You don't see very many influencers caring about other people besides themselves. We don't really like think about ourselves as necessarily influencers. Just, dude, I just want to get jacked. Yeah, shit. dudes I just, who I'm just, just trying to get big. Bro, just dudes who love, who fucking love getting jacked. Like, I like training, bro. Yeah, and I want to get. Big. I want people to like look at me in a grocery store and I'm just like 210 for kids to look at me and be like, oh my God, why is that guy so jacked? Yeah, facts. We just like have a camera. We're just trying to get big and you guys are just watching it happen. You yeah. guys are just coming along. People always ask me, you know, what's the number one thing I would say for uh, somebody who's aspiring to be a content creator? And all I can literally tell you, literally, oh, and, and every single person that's in the industry will tell you the exact same thing. They will tell you the exact same thing, bro. It's one of, it's either one of two things. One is be consistent. Make sure that the, your, the content you're posting is coming out either at the same times every day or you're posting um, the same amount of posts every day. For me, it was six times a day for three months straight on TikTok until I uh, finally started to see some traction. And the second thing that content creators will tell you if uh, you're asking for one game tip to make it in the industry is be unique. Be yourself and uh, have just full confidence in what you're posting. If you're not yourself when you're filming and you're not comfortable in front of the camera, people that follow you, I should say, I don't even really like calling you guys like followers because I don't feel like- Supporters. It's, yeah, there's, you guys are my supporters. You guys are my fan, my, my friends. But if, you're, if your supporters can't feel the genuine spirit behind your message when you're talking, then it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough it's trying to, uh, trying to actually gain some traction and followers, bro. I feel like I could say this in one sentence. A anytime anyone asks me, how do you blow up on social media? I, I could put it in one sentence. Make something 15, 16 year old you when you got into lifting wanted to watch. If you yeah, can make something that facts. your 15 to 16 year old self wanted to watch and we get excited, oh, this video's getting posted at six, let's go. I really enjoyed that. So I just make stuff I wanted to watch. Down bad meals, Yeah, bro. down bad meals. I, I wrote a whole thing in my notes called uh, down bad meals meals it's just meals I eat like they're horrendously down bad when you just need to get yeah. a certain amount of cows or macros in bro no no I'm talking like when you've already eaten your cows and you're screwed and you just want something dude I'll do like I'll mix up ice like grind up ice with oh, like, dude, with like sugar-free vanilla syrup or I'll too. put like meal on it oh <laughs> just like I have a fucking and I'll have an apple or something and I'll eat bro that. I think my most down bad meal was probably a chicken shake I actually fucking tried oh my it God. cause I was just I was like I need to get like 90 grams of protein in but do not <laughs> use frozen chicken 
Real note though, bro, the bulk has me so hungry, bro. You mean the cut? I mean the fucking cut. See, bro, I can't even formulate fucking words, bro. I, I, the cut has me so unbelievably hungry. Just right now though, like recently, as of recently, it's been really hard, um, especially with cravings. And, and calories are about to drop. We're fucked. Red. I think that, uh, like I said a little bit earlier, like this has been to me one of the more mentally challenging things that I'll ever have to go through, but I think it'll make me better. I mean, I'm learning how to do impulse I hope control. This inspires and some of you guys to compete. Like even though this kind of sucks, like I think if you're really into bodybuilding and you like it, you should compete. Dude. If you see what we're doing and you think like, I you know, I, on the I think I could do that, yeah, then do fucking it. do it, bro. Please I advise do. you right now, especially when you have a dream, bro. This was like taking like first place in a bodybuilding competition is not gonna lie, something that I've always dreamed of because I've I've always thought about bodybuilding as like something really cool that I would always love to do. And I, dude, I feel like every time I talk to someone who's like really in the gym and I see promise and I'll, I'll like try to get him to compete. It teaches you a love for the sport and taking care of yourself and the discipline that it teaches you and having a regiment and a routine. Well, the it's first like, day we met, I remember being like, yeah, I've competed and your eyes lit up. You're like, dude, you've competed. And like, I, I was talking about- Because I had no knowledge on comp or I had no knowledge on competing before I met Tommy because I hadn't been interested in it enough to like ask the questions myself and like find out the, inter and the interesting information myself. So when I lifted with this fool for I the first time- I just competed And too. he was literally I, fresh I've off competing. I competed twice, yeah. I was like, dude, that's so cool. I started asking him a whole bunch of questions. I ended up falling in love with it and and wanting to try it for myself. And lo and behold, yeah, six after, months later, dude, after I'm six weeks feeling, out from a competition. <laughs> after I got that feeling of uh, them saying Tommy Brown for first place, bro, I just- It's I gonna happen. Wanna, it's gonna so happen, bro. Tommy Spaulding, bro. That shit was- First place. Thomas I think it Spaulding. happened, bro. I, I think that competing, for me at least, I'm like 100% confident that I'm gonna really take at least top three because I, there's no way, bro. I worked my fucking ass Easy off for top this. Three. There's, Probably winning. There's no way that I wouldn't take at least top three. The best part for me, like when I when I had done it, it was walking out and the lights are super bright, dude. If you've ever been on stage, like you know what I'm talking about, like the lights are super bright and they're shining on your face. You walk out and the crowd starts going nuts and you're, you'll, you'll like hit a pose and they'll, yeah! Dude, for me, it was when I turned to my back, they started getting a kick. And I was like, dude, these people are really cl like clapping and getting stoked from a back, like for me flexing, From a fucking dude. flex, Like bro. I'm flexing and they're going fucking loony. This is the best feeling in the world. It's like getting recognition for all the hard work you put in. If you have a sweet tooth that's bad like me, let me put you on. Bear Bell protein bars. Oh, Literally, dude, see? See what I'm saying? So good. Literally tastes like a fucking chocolate bar. Dude, sponsor me. They're Bear 200 Bell. cows. They're 200 <laughs> so cows. Fire. Sometimes 220, and they're 20 grams of protein. Dude. <laughs> This I almost wall, this wall was through. I burped and almost yacked the beef and rice, bro. Holy <laughs> Jeez. Has that ever happened to you guys like on the bulk? Uh, this is the only fool that I met like that. Dude, it happens on the cut too. Every time I eat, I'll like burp and almost yak. I'm like, holy shit. It's like my stomach just doesn't like like anything, dude. Holy shit. The last week of my life has been one of the most life-changing and euphoric that I've ever had. I love you guys so dearly. I appreciate every single like comment DM. I answer all my DMs because you know I'm here for a reason. I'm here to change the world, you know. We're here to we're here to make an impact. Make a difference, bro. Make a difference. Teach you guys. Wish I had that when Teach I was. Teach you guys. Exactly. It's it's to That's why give I'm you guys it. the knowledge that, that we wish we would have had when we were first starting lifting and we want you guys to be good people yeah, and to put out good memories and uh, good vibes in the world. And dude, I'm telling you, have fun with it. It's the best part of bodybuilding. Like Kevin LaRose said, like building that connection, dude. Like it's the best part of bodybuilding. It's just having fun as a team, getting jacked, bro. You can only and, do it once in your life. Do it. And getting fucking jacked together. But that's it for today's video. Uh, I love you guys so, so, so much. Good Thank you for watching all the way through. We, uh, I know we babble on a lot. Dude, but if you made it all the way through, yeah. you're fucking yeah, sick. Yeah, W supporter. Young LA has a drop on the 30th of this month. Okay, so the drop's on Tuesday. This video is coming out Wednesday. Yeah, go check out the new drop. And if you guys like any of this shit, you know, already know, code T-Spaw at checkout for 15% off. That's a must. But I have some exciting news coming to towards you guys later this month. Yes. And uh, we got uh, we got some pretty crazy shit happening. So if tricks. you haven't already, you know the drill. Go subscribe. We have some crazy content coming. It's a must. Do you subscribe with, to my uh, channel? Yeah, you feel subscribe me? to Tommy Brown. You feel me um but yeah i love you guys dearly and uh we will yeah dude we'll catch you in the next one catch you bro